the Doncaster Shield is next in. And long distance race this one. At the full card, it's two miles and three furlongs, 0 to 75. The top one is Granite, James Shea, Lucky Rebecca, Martin Lidham, Siberian Tiger, Mike Westwood, Dutch Forward, Nick Driver, Monthly Craig, Alex Cherry, and Frosty Saga, Kevin Meenahan. So a small field, quite a lot of these have been racing against each other throughout the season. And just six of them facing the starter today. They're all installed. And away they go. A little bit slow out, Siberian Tiger, but with two miles and three furlongs to go, I don't think there'll be too much concern from the jockey or the trainer and monthly cred the grey is the early leader but nothing seems to want to go on at the moment they're going in an absolute crawl and the jockeys all keeping a firm grip on the heads of their charges nothing wants to be the one that cuts out the running for two and a quarter miles plus and it's lucky rebecca and monthly cred who are disputed and eventually lucky rebecca has beaten the jockey and he's sort of surrendered and let that one go on so we see the review from the top of the stand you see the paddock right by the winning post and past that winning post they go they've got to come around again no big big trap Doncaster and lucky Rebecca has now settled down in the lead by a good two and a half lengths one from the front already this season including a good win at Royal Ascot so maybe the rest of them might be a little bit wary of letting Lucky Rebecca get an easy lead. Monthly Crit is in second. That's the first of the two greys. Dutch Ford is in third. And the second grey, Frosty Saga, is fourth. And then Granite and Siberian Tiger are together at the back. Lucky Rebecca then is clear. And by a good couple of lengths to Monthly Crit second. And Dutch Ford, Frosty Saga, Siberian Tiger, and Granite. So the season's passed by. Too much incident and some exciting races and absolute brilliant start really for some of the newcomers. We don't normally see the newcomers winning so many races, but it's been good to see that this year and what's back next year is gonna be really, really interesting, I think, as everybody starts to get more of a grip on the breeding systems and everything. So it's gonna be really exciting. I imagine everybody's gonna be hard at it over the next few weeks and getting their stables ready for so seven season two and lucky rebecca is the leader and i'm pretty certain that grace distance for people to become race runners so if you fancy being a bit of a helping hand person and helping out then there's definitely vacancies in the race running department so lucky rebecca is the leader from siberian tiger second and monthly credit is third then dutch falls after that one then comes granite and frosty saga is the back marker Pretty much the same. They're looking Rebecca having a pretty easy lead at the moment. Then they're inside the final mile now, and since she decided to take it up, nothing's been within two lengths of it. It was three and a line in second. Monthly cred Dutch Ford and Siberian Tiger, and a gap of a couple to Granite Frosty Saga. And Grey at the back just finding it all a little bit much at the moment. But may come with a late rattle, of course. But it's Lucky Rebecca in front. And back onto a, a level. Part of the track now after racing downhill. And Lucky Rebecca is in front by a couple of lengths to Monthly Cred, Dutch Ford, Siberian Tiger, then Granite, and then Frosty Saga. I think it's safe to say nothing's really made its move yet, though. And Lucky Rebecca just being pushed along. Jock has a little look over his shoulder there, see how far ahead he is. And I wonder if he's going to try and steal this from the front. It's Lucky Rebecca in the lead. Uh, Dutch Ford's being pushed along. Siberian Tiger looks to be going best of the chasing pack, although Granite's now starting to get going, but Lucky Rebecca's kicked on again, and suddenly opened up by four, maybe even five now, as they race past the three furlong pond, and we know this one can stay all day, so it's suddenly gone six clear, and maybe they want to be careful, they don't want to get too far in front, it's Lucky Rebecca in the lead, then by six lengths to Monthly Cred in second, Granite is third, then Dutch Ford, Siberian Tiger's gone out like a pussycat, but it's Lucky Rebecca in the lead, then Lucky Rebecca five lengths clear, racing into the final furlong and a half, and Lucky Rebecca jockey has a little to look over, you know, they, they don't seem to be catching him at all, catching him at all, it's Lucky Rebecca in the lead, and into the final furlong, Lucky Rebecca, another little peek round from the jockey, they're beginning to close now, the lead's down to three lengths, Lucky Rebecca, here comes Granite, Lucky Rebecca still in the lead inside the final half furlong, Lucky Rebecca by two lengths, Granite's closing, but not closing fast enough, and Lucky Rebecca steals it from the front, Granite second, Monthly Cred third, then Dutch forward after that, Siberian Tiger, and Frosty Saga. Nothing wanted to lead in that race. Lucky Rebecca decided to go on. And 
The jockey did a good Steve Cawthon job there, clocking his head and stole it from the front. The odds on favourite in the end takes it. It was a Royal Ascot winner early in the season, they remember. So, lucky Rebecca, the winner for Martin Leadham. Granite for James Shea was second. Monthly cred for Alex J third. Dutch forward for Nick Driver fourth. And Siberian Tiger for Mike Westwood was fifth.